Hi, welcome to today's gentle flow. For today's practice, you are going to want a blanket and then a block or thick, sturdy book, shoe box, or even your water bottle will work for what we're using it for today. So gather whatever you need to, get your playlist started, and we are going to start in a broken bridge. So make your way to your back body. Soles the feet press into the mat, hips, shoulders, head, all supported here. And then take your feet wider. So walking them out towards the edges of the mat, wider than your hips. Allow your knees to knock in for a moment. And then first bring your hands to your belly, just noticing that inhale and exhale. Gentle rise and fall. Fair warning, you may hear Teton snoring during this practice. He is deep into a nap. Give yourself two more rounds of breath right here in stillness. When you're ready, bring your knees back to pointing up towards the sky and then allow your knees to fall towards the left. So windshield wipers like we typically do, but you have a wider stance. So your knees might not meet the floor or the mat. Give yourself an inhale here, exhale, come back to center, and then other side. Knees fall towards the right, pause there for a moment, inhale to center, windshield wiper opposite direction. So continue with this at a nice slow pace that feels good in your body. These wider windshield wipers tend to bring a bit more of a stretch to your quad area, but if they don't feel good, just walk your feet in, heel toeing them until you find a space between your feet that does feel good in your body. So give yourself a few moments just to feel it out and explore. Evening out on either side and we'll meet back in center when you're ready. Walking your feet back to hip distance, then hug the knees into the chest, hands rest on your shins, roll out your ankles here first. You can point and flex the toes as well, stretching the front of the ankles and then the calf area. Just a little movement here in that ankle area and use your next two or three breaths to make your way to a seated position. Either rock and roll or roll over to one side to find that seat. Taking whichever leg naturally comes in front, we're gonna switch out here for this practice. So you might find this a bit of a funky seat. Inhale here, squeeze your shoulder blades, lengthen the spine, exhale. Inhale, arms reach up, full extension. Exhale, hinge forward, and then fold forward. If the floor feels really far away, you can bring that block or whatever you're using under your hands just to lift a little bit. Walking fingertips away from your body will increase sensation. Walking fingertips towards your body will decrease. Wherever you are, aiming to keep your sit bones anchored down. Breathing here for two full, slow rounds of breath. Next, begin to walk your hands in, lifting that upper body out of the shape then roll over your ankles or get there however's comfortable for tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale to drop your belly and lift your gaze. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale for cow, belly drops, look up. Exhale for cat, round the spine, press away from the mat. Give yourself a few more rounds here. 
adding in any other movement that feels good in the spine and the shoulders. So I usually take a few shoulder dips here. Some people really like to shift back to child's pose and then forward. Whatever feels good for you. Using your next round of breath, take your time as you make your way to a neutral tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, crown of the head presses forward, belly button pulls slightly towards the spine. Adding in just a few knee circles here. Bring that right knee up towards your right wrist and then draw it back behind you, drawing as big or as small of a circle as feels good in your hips. Going one more round that direction, then switching. Doing your best here to keep your weight equal in both hands. It's natural to switch towards the left, but start to even it out and then lower your right knee back to the mat. Other side, left knee lifts, then left knee pulls towards the wrist, draws behind you. Knee circles on this side, pressing into both of your hands. One more circle and then switch directions. Warming up that hip area. Next breath, left knee comes back to the mat. Then walk your hands forward, tuck your toes, lift your hips for downward facing dog. Giving yourself a moment here to pedal out your dog. And I want you to notice, especially in these gentle flows, we have a little more time. So really actively pressing into both hands equally. Can you bring your ears so they're in line with your biceps? A lot of times we have a tendency to look back or kind of tuck our chin, but lengthening so that whole spine is nice and long. Start here, bring a real generous bend to the knees, lifting your hips. Keep lifting your hips as high as you can, slowly straightening your legs. They won't come all the way straight, but that'll help you find what your shape should look like. We're not really concerned with how much of a bend we have in the knees, but a really long spine is what we're looking for here. Now take your time, moving one hand at a time. Begin to walk your hands back about a handprint each time. So you come to a forward fold or Uttanasana at the back of the mat. Eventually, heels will lower, so feet are flat on the mat. Once you get here, opposite hand to opposite elbow. Sway side to side for a few moments. You can gently nod the head yes or shake it no. And then taking your time here, you're going to slowly roll up to a standing position allowing the knees to bend as much as you need to. Eventually shoulders hug up towards the ears and then slide them down, palms face forward. Breathe in, breathe out. On an inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, palms press together, and then side stretch towards the right, hips towards the left, Press into both of your feet here. Now we'll be here for a little time. So if this feels tight, particularly in your right shoulder, drop your right shoulder down. What we're looking for is lengthening the side body on the left side. Press into both of your feet. Inhale, come back to center, both arms lift. Exhale for the other side. Finding your alignment here. Maybe that left hand comes down the side body. Noticing it's natural for that right shoulder to want to dip forward. Keep your heart pulling forward. Hips press towards the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, engage your glutes and elbows pull down for cactus. Give yourself a full inhale here. One more exhale. Inhale, arms reach up nice and tall. 
Exhale, hands come behind low back. Interlace your fingers and press knuckles towards the floor. Looking up just a bit. Slowly begin to fold forward. Now arms might extend overhead. They may stay at low back or they can release and press into your low back. Honoring what feels good in your shoulders. So reminding ourselves yoga poses might feel a little intense or they can be difficult or even uncomfortable, but they shouldn't cause pain. So noticing if there's any zinging or pinching, backing out until that sensation releases. Next breath, everyone release. Hands to low back, generous bend to the knees and begin to walk your hands forward back to your downward facing dog. Heels lifted off the mat likely, unless you're one of those lucky people where your heels still touch here. Pressing into both hands equally. On an inhale, rock forward to plank. Exhale, hips up and back down dog. We'll do a few more rounds here. You are welcome to drop your knees if that feels stronger or keep your knees lifted. Or you can even return to tabletop and take some more cat cows if that felt really nice in your spine. Go for it. Warming up the shoulders here just a bit. And pause next time your hips are lifted. Inhale, generous bend to the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat, noticing which foot step forward first. We'll try to even it out on the other side. Inhale to a half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Histasana, root through your feet, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, arms reach up, pinky spiral in. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana, everything hangs heavy. Inhale, half lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, Urdhva Histasana, root through your feet, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Plant your hands. Step your left foot back and then right foot back. Plank here on toes or knees. Inhale to press away from the mat. Exhale, lower all the way down. Elbows hug the side body. Untuck your toes. Take your hands wide off the mat so you're tented up on fingertips. Inhale, lift your heart just as high as feels good. Exhale, lower right shoulder, right cheek to the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower left shoulder, left cheek. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, lower forehead or chin. Hands come under shoulders once more. Tuck your toes. Press up to plank on toes or knees. Inhale here. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Yogi's choice here, you can stay in downward facing dog. You can take tabletop, child's pose, or a seated position. Checking in with these little offerings. Just notice what your body is looking for. I know I say that often, like it's really easy. It's definitely a learned skill. So my best suggestion, if you're sitting there like, I have no idea what my body's looking for, try something out. You can always change your mind. Maybe during today's practice, you give yourself permission to try something different each time I offer you those uh, options. No right or wrong. It's just yoga. It's not that serious. Making your way back to a down dog if you aren't already there. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Opposite foot steps forward this time. 
Inhale, find a half lift, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, root through your feet, reach nice and tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up, maybe look up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, hands on shins or thighs. Exhale, plant your hands, step back with your right foot, then your left foot. Inhale and plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Elbows graze the ribs, untuck your toes. I'll guide us through that wide cobra once more, but if you prefer to take a more narrow cobra, you are welcome to. Inhale to lift your heart. Exhale, lower right cheek, right shoulder to the mat. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, lower left cheek, left shoulder to the mat. Inhale for cobra. Exhale, forehead or nose to the mat. Hands under shoulders, tuck your toes. Press up to plank, toes or knees. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Few rounds of breath. Yogi's choice. Take the shape that feels good for you. Allowing yourself to check in with that rhythm of your breath. Sending you lots of good vibes. I just found a ladybug in our filming room and it is February in Wyoming when I'm filming this. So that has got to be a lucky sign because how on earth has she survived? So good luck coming with this yoga practice. Use your next breath to make your way back to a down dog if you aren't already there. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, a half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, hang heavy. Inhale for chair, hips sink down, arms lift. Give yourself a full round of breath here. Weight is in your heels. Maybe you even wiggle your toes. On your next exhale, fold forward, lengthening the legs, head hangs heavy. Inhale to a half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank position. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, lower down to the mat. Untuck your toes, inhale, lift your heart, elbows stay hugged in. Exhale, lower back to the mat. Inhale, press up to your plank, toes or knees. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, sweep that right leg to the sky. Exhale, right foot between your hands. Back foot in and out at 45 degrees, warrior one. You have a few rounds of breath here, so take some time setting up your base, pressing into that back foot. Hips are square towards the top of the mat. Arms extended towards the ceiling. Soften your neck. Now taking hands down to your heart, shift your weight forward, balancing sticks. So we'll come to balance on right foot, Left foot dangles behind, maybe hands even come by your hips. Breathe in. Exhale, return to warrior one. Do that once more here, hands can be at your heart. On an inhale, shift forward, balancing stick, back toes lifted. Next breath, bend into your front knee, warrior one. Hands come to the mat. Step back to plank position, holding plank for two rounds of breath. Heels press away from you. Press away from the mat with your upper body. Glutes and core are engaged. As you're ready, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky. Exhale, left foot between your hands. Back foot in and out at 45 degrees. Arms lift, find your base here in warrior one. Feeling strong, hips point towards the top of the mat. 
A lot of bodies will want to square off towards the right. That's totally natural. Square them as much as is available for you. Adjusting your back foot placement as you need to. Some bodies have less of a 45 degree angle. So find what works for you. Use your next breath. Draw your hands to heart center. Inhale, shift forward, balancing stick. Slowly return, warrior one. Hands to heart center, shifting forward, balancing stick. Wobbling and wiggling as you need to. Bend into your front knee, back to warrior one. Hands to the mat. Step back to plank position. Two rounds of breath in plank. Toes or knees, where do you feel stronger? Crown of the head presses forward. Heels press away from you. Next breath, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale to a half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, release. Inhale, chair, hips down, fingertips lift. Pause here for a moment. Weight is in your heels. Next inhale, arms open wide to a V. Exhale, come back to center. Twice more, inhale, open your arms to a V, take up space. Exhale to center. Inhale to open. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, press into your heels, hands come to your heart, to dasna. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Two more of those audible breaths at your pace. Next inhale, arms reach up, maybe look up. Exhale, forward fold, hinging from your hips, head hangs heavy. Inhale, half lift, crown of the head presses forward. Exhale, plant your hands, step just your left foot back. All your toes point to the top of the mat for crescent. Wherever you are, I want you to inch your front toes forward just a bit more, deepening that bend in the front knee. Back heel presses away from you. Arms lift up towards the sky. Checking in here, can I soften the neck? Next breath, hands come to your heart. We're gonna add in some pulses here. You can keep your back knee lifted or lower your back knee if that feels more stable. Again, no right or wrong. Inhale, open your heart for cactus, maybe even looking up. Exhale, round forward, palms and all the way to the elbows come together. Inhale, open to cactus. Exhale, round forward, elbows towards the knee, forearms press. Inhale to open. Exhale, cactus. Four more of these at your pace. Again, lowering that back knee if having it lifted felt really unstable or it was hard to focus on those upper body movements. Whatever works better in your body. We'll pause when that's complete for you with your hands at heart central, heart center, neutral spine. Breathing here. Start to shift your weight forward, lifting that back knee if it's lowered. Then press into your front foot, warrior three or balancing stick. Toes point down towards the mat. Crown of the head reaches forward. Hands can stay at your heart for a nice grounding sensation or open your arms by your hips, squeezing the triceps just a bit. Allowing yourself to move slowly Begin to lever forward, so your upper body lifts, left foot stays lifted, then comes in front of you, kind of like you're driving a car, like you're pressing on a gas pedal. Inhale here. 
Exhale here. Take your left foot behind your right. Side stretch towards the right. So hips towards the left, fingertips towards the right. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, come back to center. Left leg extends in front of you just a bit once more. Exhale, foot to the mat, hands to heart center. We'll go through that on the other side. Inhale, arms reach up, look up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step right foot back this time. Building that base for crescent. Back heel presses away from you. Into your front toes forward just a bit. Nice long base here. Soften the neck. As you're ready, you can keep that back knee lifted or lower it if that feels better. Hands start at your heart. Inhale, open for cactus. Exhale, round forward, palms and forearms press. Working at your pace. Give yourself about five more rounds here. Noticing as we head into that back bend, we're being real mindful. You're not just falling back, but you have that core engagement keeping you nice and strong. Whenever that next round is complete for you, we'll meet with hands at heart center, neutral spine. Back knee lifts if it's lowered. Weight begins to shift forward. Press into your front foot. Bind Tadasana or balancing stick. Pouring that weight into that standing leg. Hands can stay at your heart or open by your hips, engaging the triceps. Slowly begin to lever forward. Eventually, crown of the head lifts. This time, right foot presses forward. Pausing here for a moment. Inhale. Exhale. Right foot comes behind left. Hands overhead. Side stretch towards the left. Finding that side stretch on this side of the body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, back to center, right foot comes forward once more. Next breath, foot to the mat, hands to your heart. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, arms reach up, look up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, hips sink down, fingertips lift. Pausing here in chair, Utkatasana. Weight is in your heels. Hands come to heart center. Shift your weight to your left foot. Then take one big step or a lot of little ones to bring your right foot behind you for crescent. Hands come behind your head, interlace like you're at the beach. Then hug your elbows in to like squeeze your ears. They're pointing forward. Engage your core. Slowly begin to look up. Maybe allowing that upper body to fall back just as far as feels good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, return to center. Releasing that grip. Hands come to the mat, right hand can stay planted, left arm opens to the sky. Give yourself a moment. Next breath, left hand comes back to the mat. Engage your core coming back to crescent. Begin to shift your weight forward. Find chair pose once more, then draw your hands to your heart. Lift your heels here. 
Now, if it feels more stable, well, it'll always feel more stable, but if it feels better for your body to keep your heels lowered, you can stay right here building strength or having heels lifted, increase that challenge just a bit. You can stay here or lower hips towards the heels, toe stand, knees point forward, inhale, open your arms for cactus. Exhale, hands to heart center. Keep your heels lifted, slowly pressing up, full extension, arms lift. Exhale, heels to the mat, hands to heart center. Other side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hips down and back for chair. Hands come to heart center. Weight shifts to your right foot, then left foot steps back. Pausing here for a moment. Hands come behind your head. Elbows pull forward. Slowly begin to look up. Back bend on this side. Maybe your upper body falls back just a bit. Next breath, release. Arms to the sky and then hands to the mat. Left hand stays planted. Right arm opens. Revolve low lunge. Give yourself a moment, then right hand comes back to the mat, stepping or lifting your upper body, apologies, and now step forward to chair. Same options, you can stay right here or lift your heels, slowly lowering down here for toe stand. Just a moment. Inhale, open for cactus. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Inhale, press all the way up. Find that full extension. Exhale, heels to the mat, hands to heart center. Now taking a moment here, I like to bring my blanket folded in a little square to the top of my mat. Then you'll want your block nearby. Take a step back so there's about six inches between your toes and the top of your blanket. Hands at heart, slowly sink down for chair once more. Weight starts in your heels, maybe even wiggle your toes to make that nice and clear. As you're ready, inhale, lift your heels off the mat. Exhale, slowly lower down. I promise this is our last time here. This time, once you find your edge, drop your knees to the blanket in front of you. Back toes stay tucked for just a moment. Hands can be lowered down or at your heart. Slowly lower hips towards the heels. Plantar stretch for just a moment, noticing where you feel that edge. Inhale, lift up once more. Exhale, lower hips towards the heels. Planner stretch, inhale to lift. Now toes can be tucked or untucked for this next portion. It's totally Yogi's choice. Take your block, box, book, water bottle, whatever you need between your feet at its highest setting. Then we're gonna add in some camel rotations. I'll show you what I mean. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. On an exhale, your right hand comes back just until it finds that block. Left arm reaches overhead. Press your hips as far forward as works for you. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, left hand finds the block. Right arm overhead, hips press forward. Continue with that at your pace. Taking your time here is you shift in and out. I'll guide us through one more round, but if your body is ready to be done with these back bends before that, you are welcome to do so. Next breath, hands come to your heart. First, take that whatever from between your heels. Slowly lower down here for a seat and then slide your heels out from under your body. Pausing here for a moment. Legs extend long in front of you. 
Inhale to lift your heart. Exhale, fold forward. Goal here is to let the upper body be heavy, bringing a nice gentle round to our spine. We did a decent amount of back bending, so allowing ourselves a little counter stretch. Breath begins to lengthen. Next, inhale, lift your heart. And then taking your feet to a butterfly shape, soles of the feet together. Typically, I keep a lot of space between my heels and my body, but for today, pull your heels as close as works for you. So finding your full extension of the shape, just a bit of hip opening after all of that action in our lunges. Hands can rest on your toes or your shins. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, just hinge forward. Not really rounding into the shape yet, but feeling like you're trying to get your heart over your toes. It's likely that it won't get there. That's totally fine. That's just the action we're looking for. Next breath, come back to center. Bring your knees together and then lower down to your back body. Pausing here. We'll return to those same windshield wipers from the start of our practice. Feet can be at hip distance or that wider version, whichever felt better in your body. Using this as a gentle and slow twist as we slow down here. Trusting your rhythm and your pace. Give yourself one more round on either side. Meet at center when you're ready. Knees hug into the chest. First, really soft, hands resting on the shins, feeling your entire low back press into the mat. Then engaging your core, lift your forehead up towards your knees, yogi hug and extend into Shavasana, your final resting shape, allowing yourself to soften into the pose. Take care of yourself however you need to. Maybe you bring soles of the feet to the mat if that feels better in your low back. Maybe you allow the eyebrows to slide away from each other. Soften the jaw. I'll let you know when it's time to come out. body can remain still. If it feels good and is available to you today, you are more than welcome to stay in this place of rest. If it's time to close out your practice, start by increasing your inhales and exhales, feeling that rise and fall in your chest. Add in the gentle movement that feels good to wake up your body. Maybe you rock the head side to side or point and flex the toes. 
and taking your time, make your way to a fetal position on either side. Pausing there. Give yourself a moment just to embrace some stillness before you press up to a comfortable, easy seat. Eyes can stay soft or closed here. Feeling into these last few moments of practice for some gratitude. You showed up today, made time for yourself and honored your body with movement and with rest allowing that importance to sink in. We'll close with a collective breath. Hands can stay on your thighs or layer one over the other on top of your heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for being part of this rad community and I hope you have a wonderful day.